how do we apply all these plagues and things like that to our life? Well, you know, as a saved Christian, God can still plague your life too. Yeah. And so if you're getting out of line, you're getting out of church, you're getting out of God's will, you're getting yourself into trouble, you're not keeping God's commandments, you've kind of gone off into your own set of idolatry. What, and I'm not saying worshiping a literal statue, but maybe you're worshiping sports. Maybe you're worshiping music. Maybe you're worshiping television. Maybe you're worshiping movies. Maybe you're worshiping video games. You know, are you, are you cutting into all of God's time with all the other garbage that you're doing in your life? Are your hobbies more important to you than what God's will is? And, and here's the thing. God took and he judged the gods, quote unquote, the small G's, these demon gods or whatever, and people put their trust in them. People, you know, had these, these specific gods, these Egyptians, and God not only destroyed them, as far as like their name, God just showed how much more powerful he is. But the fact that they're worshiping them, God is judging the people for that thing too. Yep. Now, obviously we're saved and we can't lose our salvation, but God can still punish us on this earth. Yep. And that is something that you should be aware of because, and here's the thing, whatever it is that you're putting before God, whatever it is and, and whatever you're thinking about in your mind right now, whatever it is that's more important to you than God is, be afraid of the fact that he might take out his wrath upon whatever that is that you are putting before him in your life. Whether that's your children, whether that's your spouse, whether that's your parents, you know, it could be a human attachment, you know, and, and, and here's the thing, we're supposed to love the Lord our God with all of our hearts, with all of our minds, with all of our soul, with all of our strength. God is supposed to be number one in our lives. And, and, and the people in the world don't understand this concept, but you should understand this concept. And so if something in your life is interfering with your relationship, quote unquote, your, your I mean, it is a relationship with God. Whatever, you know, is, 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 it, is it interfering with your worship of God? Is it interfering with the time you spend with the Lord? Because like I said, God, you know, the Bible says, my little children flee from idols. Who's he talking to? The little, you know, he's talking about saved people. Yeah. Flee from I idols. Get away from that stuff. And it might not be, you know, Jesus hanging on a cross on a crucifix or something. It might not be some statue of Mary. It might not be some fat Buddha at a Chinese restaurant. It might not be skinny Buddha that's in somebody's garden at the house that you knocked on, but you know what? It could be something, whatever else it is that you're putting in front of God as an idol, be careful about this because God just might plague your life also. Yeah, yeah. He might plague your life and, you know, and you're like, well, well, what advantage do we have? We have the word of God. We have the Holy Spirit and we should walk accordingly. And this is like, you know, obviously this is stuff that we need to, that needs to be preached about because you know, you know what I don't want to happen to this church? I don't want people to get so complacent that we just kind of just go through the motions and that half the church is backslidden and not really zealous for God. They're just coming here. Uh, it's the same old thing, like it's a Catholic church or something that you just have to go to every week because it's part of your religion or something. I don't want that. I want our church to be fired up and zealous and loving the Lord and being zealous. And obviously I'm not saying don't have fun, have fun, but don't put that stuff in front of God. Don't put your family in front of God because you know what? God will has his way of rooting things out of your life. Is that what you want? If you're worshiping your family or loving your family more than you're loving God, I mean, that's a scary thing to think about. I don't ever want to be put in that position where I would have to, you know, have something happen to somebody I love because God's like, I got to get this idol out of your life so you can serve me. 